are some of the reasons why a fibroid may cause infertility. Remember that I said that they are growth within the, the walls of the womb. So if you have growth within the wall, then it's going to actually stretch it such that the uterus that is supposed to be just about um, eight centimeters thereabout, it can stretch it to about 20 centimeters or about 30 centimeters. And that shared distance would um, prevent the sperm from traveling all the way from the entrance of the womb to the, uh, the tube because it's going to carry the tube with it. And so the sperm would have to travel a very long distance before it gets there. Now, um, if the fibroids decide to also grow where the, the, the tubes also meet the uterus, they can actually block the sperm from going into the tube or that if the sperm goes there and it fertilizes the egg, it may prevent the fertilized egg from coming back into the um, womb. Again, we think that the growth may express certain chemicals within the, the endometrium, as in the inner lining of the womb. And once those chemicals are expressed, we think that they have effect on killing the sperm or um, reducing the speed of the sperm as and when they are released and they have to travel to go and meet the egg in the, um, the tube. There are other reasons, but generally these are the reasons why somebody may have fibroid and will not be pregnant.